My name is Vincent Everts. I'm Trend Watch and organizer of the Blockchain Innovation Conference. And it is amazing to organize it this year because there is so much happening. And in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the issues we're going to talk about and the speakers we're gathering at the moment. I mean, a small fraction, we have a lot more, but I just want to make you curious. First, what stage are we in? We are in internet in 1992, before it really started when we needed to have modems and install a TCP IP stack. You really have to do so much work to get into the blockchain. You need so much, the tools are not professional. The organizations are just getting used to it. But we see so many use cases in healthcare, in energy, in the government, in FinTech. And we're gonna show you the best of these examples on June the 7th. At, uh, in Utrecht at the headquarters of the Rabobank. Okay, let me first tell you a little bit about what kind of speakers we're going to have. So first, we're excited that it's at the Rabobank, at the headquarters, and Wiebe Dreyer will be the host, but he also will announce something which goes in production, because the theme of this year is we go from proof of concept to production, and uh, Rabobank has been very active in putting really systems in place. So he's going to announce that in production. Secondly, I have Constantine van Oranje Nassau is really much in the startup scene and the connection between the established companies in all the different uh, industries and the startups is going to be very important. And of course, we have the whole ICO issues because we now have startups which immediately get 10, 20 or 30 million and that is a total different kind of innovation budget. And we're going to talk about that, how they work together and how important it is and to make standards and what it takes to make of the Netherlands a blockchain country. Thirdly, I have Liana Kemp, and Liana Kemp has an operational product where diamonds are registered on the, uh, on the blockchain, and she has really working things. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of diamonds are registered, and it really changes the business. So she is a fantastic speaker. She will be there. Then fourth, we have uh, Janko Korter, I think it's really important, if the Netherlands is going to be successful as a uh, blockchain country, that we have good legislation and uh, ICOs, but also when we have corporate ICOs, it will be very important what the, the, the Central Bank of Holland uh, thinks about it. And we're going to talk about the importance of legislations and intelligent legislation and how we compare to Switzerland, to Singapore and uh, those kinds of places. There's fierce competition. Rutger van Zuidam, of course he will be there because uh, we have, next week, we have the biggest hackathon of the world where 63 teams are working and he will bring the winner of last year and the winner of this year and to see how the hackathon is a corporate innovation tool and how, what kind of uh, innovations are created in the seven tracks and the 63 teams. I'm really excited to have Arashi Azami. He uh, works at Singular. He is uh, working uh, in the Singularity team and he's been busy as he's started an energy company and he will lead the energy track. And we saw in from our questionnaire that lots of people are into uh, the energy sector. The energy sector is decentralizing because of all the different, the green energy transitions, the, the, the grid will have to change. And he's uh, creating a track with the best solutions. And I have some unbelievable speakers which are going to be part of that because that sector is going very rapidly. Bart Melling from Gardner was very much appreciated last year. He will tell us what happens in the board and what happens in the ICT world. How important is blockchain? What are they doing? Uh, where is it being used the most? Last year at the conference, one of the most interesting speakers was Richard Castellan. He talked about ICOs. Lots of people didn't know what an ICO was, but after that we had an explosion. We had thousands of ICOs and suddenly it was more important than venture capital with starting companies and not you know, a million or two million, but huge amount of numbers. And there's a enormous amount of innovation in the different industries coming from ICOs, which are well-funded. They create lots of problems with that, but it's also really a source of innovation. Let's talk about what's happening in that arena there. And he's also leading the ICO track. We're getting 10 of the best ICOs in the world, which have a good team, which have a good purpose, which are having a serious, uh, uh, serious ability to change the world and which are currently create the Googles and the Amazon of the next wave. We're going to try to get a, a small amount of very high quality ICOs and Richard is going to lead that. Because there are huge problems in the old ICO marks. I think 80 or 90% will never make it. They are either fraud or they're totally incompetent or they just don't have any, uh, they don't have a plan which makes any sense. And Bruno Scorch has done, inter has done an, uh, a lot of research in that arena and he's coming to basically say, hey, which of the 
90% are fraud, incompetent, or uh, will not go anywhere. And I think it's really important that we have strict regulation and that we also have a professional uh, information uh, news uh, news about those kinds of things and he's going to talk about how we uh, deal with that but we should also realize that ICOs are very important as an innovation source then we have Arthur Camara and it's he is great about scalability because he started crypto uh, kitties which totally took the ethereum network down because I mean it was not able to scale now, he's going to talk about what happened with that uh, business, how he raised 12 million of normal venture capital, and also what does it mean to go through a uh, blockchain and to scale, and what problems do you have when it really becomes very popular. And last year, one of the most appreciated speakers was Mark van der Gijs, and he's been incredibly busy. He started an ICO investment bank. He sold it to a Wall Street millionaire. He started a... Um, uh, a blockchain fund where you with, where, with normal field money you can invest in and he started also the biggest mining company outside the USA which immediately went to the Toronto Stock Exchange so he's incredibly busy with new projects and he will tell us what the pulse of the industry is Dennis de Vries from KPMG has a uh, framework how to basically judge a blockchain initiative inside a corporate and very straightforward way to basically analyze the quality of those kinds of initiative extremely important professional services from KPMG and of course we have David Birch David Birch you know he's really big in identity and how the blockchain is used for uh, for the payment system but now he's going beyond Babylon and beyond Bitcoin and for money that we understand that money that understands us he's wrote a great book about it and he's gonna tell how blockchain will be much deeper changing the systems around us and I'm very happy that Connie Dorestein, one of the most influential women in fintech, is going to lead the business track and has a bunch of very, very interesting uh, business cases. I'm really excited that Badar Tesraudi is doing the Blockchain for Dummies uh, program. And in one and a half hours, he will very clearly explain what you need to know to understand the rest of the program. was extremely successful and very popular last year, and he's a great speaker for that. And then Marlouz Pomp uh, is going to do the, um, the government track. And the nice thing is she just wrote a book about 50 cases, which basically the Dutch and the B Belgian company did as a proof of concept, and they're going now into production. She will take the best cases to that government track, and she is really good at it. And we have Frans Kempen from IBM, the blockchain lead, and together with Koopman, he will present the case where VIN numbers from cars are basically put on the blockchain and all the partners in the, in the value chain will be connected to that. And they immediately got a price for that initiative. And I'm really excited that uh, Pradeep Gul is joining us from Solve.care and he is a startup, a blockchain startup, but a very professional startup with already a product and with already um, uh, funding. And he finished his ICO and he used to be the CIO of Blue Cross, you know, one of the biggest insurance companies. He knows the healthcare industry totally from inside and is basically working with blockchain to redefine that space. And very practical examples. So these are a number of the speakers we're going to have. We have a lot more business cases in the energy, in the healthcare, in the fintech. Uh, for the government, which we're going to be added later. But you can be sure that it's going to be a packed day. We have brilliant partners, fantastic speakers, a wonderful venue, and a space which is just exploding. So join us June the 7th in Utrecht at the Rabobank headquarters because it will be a fantastic day.